At the Avro Aircraft Plant near Toronto is located one of the Western world's most advanced military aircraft design, development, and production facilities covering an area of over one and a half million square feet. This is the birthplace of the CF-100. Here, after many thousands of detail operations, the aircraft is assuming its ultimate form, the installation of hundreds of pieces of equipment and miles of intricate wiring is being completed. This aircraft, as yet unarmed, has reached the final stages of production. Painstaking design, practice craftsmanship, and meticulous inspection have combined to produce an aircraft of versatile breed. Its combination of range and speed and the variety and formidability of its armament make it unique as an airborne weapon. Day after day, from the end of this production line they flow, sleek, formidable additions to the armory of defense. Designed to meet a Royal Canadian Air Force specification for a long-range, all-weather day and night interceptor, the CF-100 is capable of operating anytime, anywhere, in the sub-zero temperatures of the Arctic or beneath the blazing sun of the tropics. Before delivery, each aircraft is subjected to a series of rigorous ground tests of the engines and aircraft services. These tests are but preliminaries to the intensive pre-delivery flight testing the aircraft will undergo before its final release for Air Force service. The aircraft is first test flown by one of the Avro test pilots. The test pilots are men with a wide background of technical and flying experience, including operational flying. They know the high capabilities inherent in the CF-100 and ensure that each aircraft meets these exacting standards before it is cleared for delivery. When the aircraft passes the test pilot's critical appraisal, it is ready for the final stages of its pre-delivery preparation, harmonization and calibration of the armament and fire control systems. These operations are performed by the radio, radar and armament group of the production flight test organization who coordinate the aircraft to a ground target, harmonizing the radar, gun sight, gun and rocket armament into a completely integrated fire control system. The CF-100 Mark IV is equipped with a ventral gun package shown here in the process of gun harmonization. The pack contains eight 50 caliber machine guns 
and also carries the ammunition for them. In addition, it carries the electro-pneumatic system which operates the guns. The gun package is an interchangeable unit. Following a sortie, it may be very quickly removed and replaced by another newly serviced and armed unit. <laughs> Here, the wingtip fittings for the attachment of a rocket pod are checked for alignment. This operation ensures that a succession of pods may be installed on the aircraft without further alignment checks. The rocket pods are attached to fittings on the wingtips of the aircraft. The installation is designed to permit rapid attachment of a succession of pods without the need for alignment checks, an important feature when rearming time must be kept to a minimum. Bad weather conditions present no obstacle to the CF-100. The aircraft is fitted with a radar fire control system, which enables it first to locate, then to track, and finally to destroy an enemy aircraft under conditions which preclude visual contact. The rocket armament of the CF-100 consists of 58 2.75-inch folding fin aircraft rockets. The rockets are carried in two wingtip pods, each of which holds 29 rockets. Each pod can be swiftly attached to the wingtip by the insertion of a single pin. This kind of attention to the practical operational necessities is evident throughout the aircraft and is indicative of the careful thought given to these necessities in the design stage. The radar fire control system enables the pilot to accomplish an accurate attack against a selected target and to fire the rockets at the optimum instant. The pods are automatically jettisoned after the rockets are fired. The CF-100 Mark IV is equipped with the MG-2 fire control system developed by Hughes Aircraft for firing 2.75-inch folding fin air-to-air -air rockets. The MG-2 system consists of a 250-kilowatt radar, a rocket fire control computer, and two scopes. The function of the radar is to search for and locate the target and to supply the information necessary to the computer. The computer determines the correct course and firing time for the rockets. The two scopes present the information determined by the radar and computer to the pilot and radar observer. The radar is operated entirely by the radar observer, the radar information being displayed only on his scope. The radar observer selects the target and locks the radar on the target. Previous to lock-on, the pilot scope presents only the artificial horizon. After lock-on, a steering dot, a reference circle, and a time-to-go circle are added to the pilot's display. When the pilot flies to center the steering dot in the reference circle, the interceptor flies a lead collision course. The rockets are fired automatically at the correct time. This is indicated on the scope by the appearance of an X. In addition, two navigational features are provided. First, by throwing a switch, it is possible to interrogate radar navigational beacons which are located on the ground in accurately known locations. Second, if there are no beacons in the vicinity, the radar can be switched to ground map operation so that a map of the terrain ahead appears on the radar scope. The aircraft and its armament are the product of extensive development and both ground and air testing. Only the high-speed camera can record the tremendous stream of lethal firepower released from each pod 
In the split second, the rockets are fired. 3,000 pictures a second were exposed to record these test firings carried out during the development of the rocket pod. Air testing of the rocket firing system was carried out at a Royal Canadian Air Force proving establishment before the present techniques of attaching fully loaded rocket pods were evolved. The number of rockets used in these tests was less than is now used in squadron service, and nose and tail pod fairings were omitted, but the tests served to prove the effectiveness of the fire control system. The soundness of the CF-100 basic design is attested by its versatility. In addition to its interceptor role, it may be equipped with underwing racks for the carriage of up to four 1,000-pound bombs. It may be used as a high-speed target towing aircraft, a valuable aid in the training of interceptor air crews. The CF-100 Mark 3D trainer is in service with the Royal Canadian Air Force to prepare air crew personnel for service in CF-100 fighter squadrons. The use of the aircraft as a launching platform for guided missiles is not being overlooked. CF-100 Mark V, a high-altitude version of the airplane with extended wings, is already in service with the Royal Canadian Air Force. In response to a specific NATO requirement for an all-weather night interceptor, the CF-100 wears battle camouflage paint while on service with the Royal Canadian Air Force in Europe. Extensive organization stands ready to aid the user in obtaining maximum performance and serviceability in the field. This is the special concern and function of Avro's service department. A team of writers and illustrators with a wide experience of aircraft maintenance are responsible for the preparation of a comprehensive and constantly revised library of manuals and illustrated part lists. Here, copy is finally checked before reproduction. The company maintains complete photographic and printing facilities for the production of the aircraft servicing manuals. A large spare supply department is maintained where replacement parts are prepared for shipment at short notice. An extensive range of both small and large components, packed to avoid damage by deterioration and rough handling, is on hand to meet all service needs.
wherever their services are needed, have service representatives are available to help and to advise on correct maintenance and operating techniques. The service representative is the recipient of a constant flow of advanced information on the company's products and a direct link with the engineering, production, inspection, and other departments at the factory. Experienced factory-trained field working parties are available to carry out work beyond the immediate capacity of the user. All these facilities are designed for one purpose and devoted to one end, to ensure that the aircraft is ready to fly, to find and to destroy its target whenever and wherever it is required to do so. The CF-100 is not an untried, unproved prototype. It is now in multi-squadron service with the Royal Canadian Air Force and is the first line of defense over the northern reaches of the North American continent. It has operated in temperatures as high as 110 degrees Fahrenheit and as low as 50 degrees below zero over the unfriendly ice deserts of the subarctic. These CF-100 aircraft of the Royal Canadian Air Force maintain constant patrol in the freezing northern skies and are being successfully maintained and flown under conditions as arduous as any they might meet with elsewhere. The stringent proving that the CF-100 has undergone in the service of the Royal Canadian Air Force has proved its integrity and the ruggedness of its construction. Such operating problems as have been encountered in the widely diverse climatic conditions met with on the North American continent have been overcome by the evolution of suitable servicing and flying techniques and by modification. These modifications, together with those incorporated in the course of normal engineering development, give the CF-100 a built-in combination of proved reliability and performance unmatched by any other interceptor in its class. The firepower of the radar-directed rocket armament, as deadly and as accurate by night as by day, make it the most formidable interceptor in quantity production and now available.
In the hands of men such as these lies our destiny. It is our responsibility to ensure that they have the finest equipment available to meet any threat to our freedom. This is the role of the CF-100.